The word comes through the realms into our own, and then on the page. The order was established before the initial compilation of the sage. The form can't be embellished or undergo translation, but a mage can have full access to the meaning of and be in accord with the function of the sacred scripture for this world and age. And this was in regards to a show about uh, compilation and translation of sacred scripture. And there was a lot of presumptions that, you know, one, the person doing the show did not have uh, full access to some of the information, like uh, contextual information about when certain passages were first learned or first written down, that sort of thing. He didn't seem to know about um, hundreds of compilations of the same text. Um, he was right about the uh, certain, like you could say, abbreviated, um, you know, Vallis writing downs of the text and that how people, for the most part, memorize the thing. But one of the things that I would expect of a scripture of an age, you know, in this international age, that everything can be fully translated, perhaps not in the one sentence or something like that. Sometimes you need a few sentences, or I've seen cases of like four sentences for the one sentence and um, whole like paragraphs almost to translate a certain term, but certainly the meaning is available. Um, something happens with the sound and even I guess the uh, word order on the page visually that doesn't happen with the others. Uh, a lot of the sigil stuff that we talk about is actually from certain sacred scriptures um, not being familiar forms or being uh, considered just so beautiful in the writing themselves. I mean, symbols and stuff like that were available beforehand, but a lot of what we have is really a response to arabesques and that sort of thing, the Kufic and other sorts of scripts, which Kufic was harder to read, but um, 